Our top story tonight, an upstate worker dies and another is injured in a recycling plant fire in Anderson. Firefighters say the blaze broke out at Omnisource on North Gossett Street around 10 this morning. News 13's Darren Patello joins us live from our Greenville News Center. Darren, have they identified the man yet? Frank, they have identified the man. Spokesperson for the Anderson Fire Department says Dean Gotchner of Pickens was killed. Anderson firefighters pulled the body of Dean Gotchner out of this blaze as neighbors looked on. Prayers going out to those families and friends involved. North Goslett Street is still closed off as firefighters work to put out the hot spots. It's here at this metal recycling plant the fire broke out and sent a plume of smoke through the city. A huge cloud of black smoke just roaring. They had the sun covered. It was so big and just hot. It, th this whole area was blacked out. Amber Smith lives about a half a mile from the scrapyard, but she says the cloud of smoke became so big she thought her neighbor's house caught on fire. We was a little concerned that what was involved in it and something could explode, but we kept hearing a few explosions here and there. Anderson firefighters say this isn't the first time this neighborhood has seen Omnisource on fire. About two years ago, a fire broke out close to this size caused by gasoline left in the tank of a junked car. Then they say just a few weeks ago, a pile of batteries caught on fire. Pretty shocking too. This early in the morning, and just getting their day started and then expect something like that to happen today. No explanation as of yet on how this fire broke out, but at least firefighters say the blaze is contained. Other Omnisource workers and nearby residents are safe. Pretty tragic. Now, Greg Shore, the coroner for Anderson County, says that he expects the autopsy results to come in tomorrow for Gotchner. Now, as for the other person injured in this fire, well, we've been told he's been released from the hospital with burns on his arms. Live in the Greenville News Center, Darren Botello, News 13.